All right, so we've got that. Let's actually first do something where we have a little bit of, if we look here, his other ear kind of sticking out there and we've got his hair kind of sticking out as well. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna get rid of this ear and instead use the bald guy's ear and some of this hair. Now we could go in and use the eraser like we were doing before, but just in case we want that hair back at any point, we're not exactly sure what we would need it for or maybe we wanna bring the ear back or for whatever reason we decide we don't want the person to be bald, we want to be able to undo it. So we do have our original down here, but an even easier way of making sure that we get rid of things without actually deleting them is masking them. So I'm going to select this guy's face and actually let's make sure we name this bald head. And I'm going to click on this little item here, which will add a mask. And once again, remember with masks, you get this like little white area here. And remember that with white, if you think about turning the lights on or turning the lights off, lights all the way on, white all the way on, it's going to show everything. If you want to put things in darkness or hide them, you want to go to black. And the closer that you go to black, the more and more things are going to be hidden. Black is going to make it completely opaque. And we're going to use our brush tool, B, to do that. All right. Same thing here just going to increase the size of this and we're going to also make the hardness of this a little bit softer just to kind of help blend things together and now as I go across this you can see it kind of gets rid of the air and actually I think what I would rather do have this actually closer to a, a lot harder here and shrink this down a little bit because don't want to have that kind of ghosting effect along his um, cheek there. Okay. Same thing here, just going to bring this up a little bit. We don't have to make this perfect because it's going to be by the head here. I'm just going to, same thing here, just bring this down and crop it in. All right. Looks really weird, but once again, remember, if I had actually deleted this, it would have been gone, but I can always go over here and go from black to white while I'm painting on this and bring things back. Once again, if you wanna see that, you can hold down Option and click, and you can see, and Option and click again will get rid of it. So all the areas where that black is, you can see that's the area that is hidden. So if I bring the bald head on now, we don't have to worry about those items and we can kind of bring things in. And let's actually do the same thing with the bald head. I want to kind of blend this area together. So selecting my bald head here and then going into my mask mode, I'm going to this time make sure that I use a very soft brush because that's going to blend things. And then I'm just going to go in and paint in with black the area so can kind of bring some of that in there and you guys can see that actually even though the skin tones aren't perfect they're close enough lighting wise that they actually work pretty well together so I don't know if I actually need to go in and clean that up. I think right now that stands pretty well together with those skin tones. Uh, the next thing I want to do is go in and really kind of change the shape of this person's face. They've got a really strong jaw and I want to kind of change that. We'll do that in the next section.